Hi, I'm uh, Paula from Fairy Chic Emporium and today we're going to do a little video on um, painting this mirror. Um, I've set up some products for today. Um, I've mixed up some paint. Um, this is 50% Anguilla, 50% Sugar Puff. Um, this is Polar Bear. And then I've mixed up here, this is 50-50, um, Sexy Silver and Gorgeous Gold. And what I'm going to do is add some finishing coat, just like that, and mix it up. And it gives quite a lovely, it's not as in your face as the gold, it's a more, I don't know what you would call that. But I think you'll agree that the colours all go together really nicely. So the first thing I've done is mask off the mirror using masking tape. Um, you can use lot, there's lots of different masking tapes out there, and I don't really find that any are, are more effective than others. Uh, the good thing is that the paint, if it does happen to get onto the mirror glass, it scratches off really easily, so it isn't a major issue anyway. But obviously you don't want to spend ages cleaning up, so I have masked it off. So the first thing we're going to do is um, start applying some colour in different areas. I don't want it all to be um, uniform. So we're going to have some blue, some cream, some like silver gold mixture. And um, we'll come back when, when we've got some of that done. All right, thank you. Right, as you can see, I've painted off sections in the um, turquoise colour. Um, and, and I've done it broken up on the on the bottom. I've taken the actual mirror out. Um, I've only done a slight section on the inside of it but it made it easier to get around to take to do the mirror. So the next bit I'm going to do is use my Frenchine mixture to block off next sections and it doesn't matter if I do slightly more than I intended um, because a lot of this section is probably going to be the polar bear but I want the when I do the sanding I want to be able to see this underneath so I'm going to do slightly more than I need. Some of it I will leave pure but that's that's what I'm going to carry on doing, lots of sections like that. So I'll come back when I've finished that. Okay. Right so I've now done the um, Frenching coat and as you can see I've done a little bit of dry brushing on the accents to show up. That doesn't mean that's the finished bit. It, well, I'm going to carry on sort of adding some layers and so on but the last layer to add colour wise is the um, polar bear. So I'm now going to add that in the places that are obviously missing paint and overlapping a little bit. Um, the, the mirror we've done the same. I've done uh, predominantly blue on the in or turquoise on the inside. Bits of gold breaking it up and then the outside is going to be predominantly the polar bear. So, and then we'll uh, get to the sanding stage, which um, I'll come back and show you what I do then. Okay, thank you. Right, this stage, since we've last seen you, has actually taken me really quite a long time. And what we've established is that the blending part of it is actually quite tricky. It's more tricky than it looks. Um, so we've taken quite a long time. If you have a look at the, the legs, what we've done is this technique's called Bermuda blending and it's basically using multiple colours we've only chosen three and it's dividing what you've um, what object you're painting into various clear sections so clear sections are blue in this case a cream and a goldy colour um, but it's also having areas where there's blending of them as well and I think you'll agree it looks really really pretty um, but the blending is tricky and what we've used is this kind of brush with a square end and I found that doing my strokes this way and this way rather than sort of higgledy piggledy up and down back and forth has given a more uniformed effect and I've, I've effectively been doing dry brushing like once the colour has almost gone off the paintbrush as you can see I'm just using the little bit that's left on the brush to blend in the colour. So I've now put a little bit of gold on there. And it's gradually sort of moulding them all in. But I'm still leaving very clear areas of plain blue, plain cream and plain gold. And I think the, the effect works really well. So the next stage is 
to go with sanding. Um, I've talked about sanding in quite a few of my videos. Um, I more often than not use normal sandpaper. This is 120 grit sometimes and for this would be quite helpful is these um, sanding sponges and they're really good for for grabbing around areas you can rub which which is sometimes a bit trickier with the stiff paper so I shall have a go with both but we're going to do a bit of distressing and see see what that comes up with so we'll pop back in a bit right so we've done some sanding and as you'll see now which you didn't perhaps gather before is that we were doing two simultaneously both similar colors but this one more predominantly blue this one got, got a lot more of the cream um, so if you have a look at the sanding I've used the sandpaper on the edges and then I've got the flat bit of sandpaper and just rubbed it up and down on the curved sections to rub off these commonly worn areas and then I try to think of it as um, north east south west and I do this side the same and behind and inside so that's what I've done and then we've sanded all the, the edges that stick out to give more distressing and we've done a little bit on the edges here but I think it looks really good it's really added to it really pleased with it so the last thing that we've got to do um, which you don't need to watch is wax with clear wax to protect it and we'll use a normal buffing mag so thanks for watching hope you've learned something hope you'll have a go and um, please share your photographs um, like my page please it's www.facebook.com forward slash the emporium furniture which will take you straight to Fairy Chic Emporium Thank you, until the next time.